That's one thing about NC State, going back to Jimmy V, you never quit. 21 to three, Virginia Tech. I think it says a lot about the heart of this team. You know, the chemistry of this team, the love of this team. You kind of get the sense with the way this thing is gone. It could be a now or never moment for this NC State offense. To now at quarterback for NC State, the true freshman MJ Morris. Uh, and you know, I, we're, everyone's excited. Dave Dorn, they think he's the future of this program. So Morris has the time, does a nice job over the middle of the field. That was Devin Carter. There's still plenty of time in this game. The key is, is to put a drive together, be confident, get the ball in the end zone, and get some momentum. Taking a shot, has a receiver. We have a touchdown for NC State. Stayer Thomas. And, and that's the spark they're looking for. You see his mentor where he sits on the NC State career receiving touchdowns list. Thayer Thomas, a former walk-on, keeping NC State in this game. I just merely pointed out a couple of facts here. Last time I called a game at this yard, Carter Finley Stadium, the Friday after Thanksgiving game last year, NC State, North Carolina, where the Wolfpack historically came back and pulled off a win. Can Virginia Tech not allow that to happen tonight? Pinned deep, Wolfpack defense. Here's third and three, coach. Pressure, Wells, sacked, Drake Thomas. And that's the play NC State needed. So now NC State getting good, good field position. Continue to open up the playbook, let him throw it. You get a score on this drive right now, you're back in a football game. Here he goes, taking a shot, has the youngster, Terrell Timmons. And the Wolfpacker in business. Watch the tight end on a jump pass here. There he is. There he is, wide open. Oh, do we have a football game at Carter Finley? Trent Penix, the player they were excited to have back. I don't know what it is about Carter Finley Stadium on a Thursday or a Friday night, but we have ourselves a football game. It's getting spooky. The true freshman quarterback for NC State has found his rhythm. You're seeing MG Morris get more and more comfortable, even with a bad snap, the blitz coming, getting more relaxed, being out there on the field and growing up here right in front of our eyes. Perhaps he's put himself in that QB1 seat the rest of the way. Slip screen, Thayer, Thomas, end zone. Wolfpack take the lead. The result of the play is a touchdown. And the true freshman, MJ Morris. 265 yards, three touchdowns. We'll see who the last one standing here at Carter Finley will be. Here comes the delayed blitz. That was Peyton Wilson. The game of momentum and change. That was an entire pack of wolves led by Drake Thomas. Hokies are gonna have to punt. They're gonna keep it on the ground with Houston. Houston makes a cut. Houston gets a first down. And how about the win for Dave Dorn at NC State? The winning streak here at Carter Finley now goes to 15 consecutive games. And what an effort out of them to come down from 21-3 to get the win. And it shows the culture of these guys right now. They, this team doesn't give up. They have a lot of seniors on the team. But you see what he's built here and why this team is a key team that can compete every single year here at NC State. One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Coca-Cola. Is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself.
I need to try it first. We come from different places to experience a piece of history and leave our own mark on the storied fairways of number two. Mr. Wolf, you're all set. Complete perimeter protection installed, activated, and monitored 24 7. Rivalries happen, but no matter who you root for, we can all identify with the best in smart home security. CPI Security. Identify yourself. It's Ford Truck Month. America, you know what to do. Now's the time to get after the best deals on Ford F Series. America's best selling trucks, 45 years straight. Also, great offers on Ford Ranger and Ford Maverick. Ford Truck Month is here, so let's get after it. Place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. I need to try it first. Yeah. One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Carolina Ford Dealers, proud sponsor of NC State Athletics. Oh, it was an awesome comeback. I mean, just uh, to be in a program that no matter what keeps playing hard um, and just keeps fighting and finding ways to get back in a game and then to finish a game that way. You know, uh, Florida State, same thing. You know, we've had two probably statistically not favorable opportunities to win and, and both, you know, with Leary out at the time uh, and be able to come back with Jack in the Florida State game and MJ and Virginia Tech game. I think it says a lot about this football team, you know. Guys rising up, next man up, but also guys around them rallying them uh, and helping them. Here's the snap. Morris looks. Wide receiver screen to Thayer Thomas. Thomas at the 10. He breaks free. Five. End zone. Oh. Touchdown. So Thayer Thomas calls in a wide receiver screen and takes it 18 yards to pay dirt. The Pack's got the lead in this game, 22-21. Defensively, we had struggled in that third quarter, you know, giving up three touchdowns. And, and so we needed a spark from offense and really the defense had been keeping us in the game up until that point and that, you know we're what was it three to zero at halftime and uh, all of a sudden you're down 21 three and defense is like man we're gonna have to go right back out there and then the offense puts that drive together and off defense is like all right they're gonna score they score like let's go you know and I think it's like proof of life almost like, oh, my gosh, you know, we got a chance to win if they can score a touchdown. Like we hadn't scored in 10 quarters, you know. So that drought was a long one, and it was great to see that happen. It was a great throw, a good route, catch, and all that protection. But for MJ to deliver at that time was pretty critical, man. Here comes the blitz, and he's sacked back at about the 22-yard line by Greg Thomas. Has Trent Pettix who scored the touchdown and a first down Wolfpack gain of 14. Great throw by MJ Morris against the blitz. He knew he had one on one into the boundary. Here comes the delayed blitz. That was Peyton Wilson. Well, it's complimentary football, you know, and I think when we play well, it's what we do. You know, the offense scores, the special teams set up the defense where the defense stops them and the special teams set up the offense and that, that you know, we need four phases of it, offense, defense, special teams, and then the sideline energy, like that feeds the football team. And it's whoever's job, it's on the field to deliver, you know, and then they spark the next unit that comes out. And it's just, 
cyclical momentum that you want to have. And, and at times the, the cycle stops, you know, and it kind of feels one sided sometimes. And so that's where you love for that thing to keep turning where it's different players playing a part and winning the game like that. I grabbed Grant at one point and asked him, I'm like, this is your time, and you need to go tell him from the heart what we need to do over there, and he did. To his credit, he did a great job. But throughout the game, I know Devin Carter was being positive and, and just keep playing, guys, keep playing. You know, you can hear him saying that on the sideline. The coaches were running up and down the sideline. The strength coaches were, you know, there was just a lot of people trying to, you know, rally the troops, I guess you'd say, and he just needed one play to kind of cement where we're going. You got to give MJ credit. I mean, he wasn't here for spring ball. He came in in the summer and really dug in, learned what he needed to do, and took advantage of an opportunity and helped his football team. I'm really happy for him. Um, excited, you know, for the team because that's what we've been missing. You know, um, we had that with Devin, obviously, and now to have that guy back in that spot where the players are excited about how he's throwing the football because we know we can run. It means a lot. 5.35 remaining. pac has got two timeouts left with a one-point lead in this game. On uh, third and four from the State 41, Morris takes the snap, hands to Houston over the left side, makes a man miss, makes two minutes. He's got the first down. First down, Wolfpack. But it's 11-man it's football, you know, and, and we leaned on the run game during those five minutes, and we got the job done, you know. There were some dirty runs. They were physical. Um, they were hitting us. We were hitting them. And Jordan did a really nice job, you know, making a couple guys miss and extending some runs that could have been shorter. Feeling great. I love this team to death. You know, we just go out there, have fun, just play football. So I'm gonna go up from there. Yeah, that's yeah. My boy. This segment of One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Coca-Cola. It's time for Thundercats. Fun questions from Aiden and Austin, sons of our very own D'Antonio Thunder Burnett. Thundercats! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> you know, want to interview me? Yeah. So Thundercats. What is your position and why do you like it? I play safety and I like safety because I get to hit people. What do you like most about NC State? I'll say what I like most about NC State is probably just like coming in the building and knowing like we're not a team, this is a family. What is your favorite animal can you act it out? My favorite animal would probably be a honey badger. Like the personality, I don't think I can act it out. <laughs> I gotta get on the floor. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all got joking. jokes. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yay. What is your favorite movie? Wolf on Wall Street. What is your favorite number? Number 10, duh. Who's known for saying the standard is the standard? <laughs> Coach Thunder. <laughs> Who is your favorite superhero? That's a good one. If I had to choose, I would probably say Wolverine. Thundercats! <laughs> All right, that's the end of our interview. <laughs> we <are> dismissed. <laughs> Appreciate y'all, man. Wonder with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by North Carolina's electric cooperatives, powering a brighter future for the people and communities we serve. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever. And your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. We come from different places to experience a piece of history and leave our own mark on the storied fairways of number two. From protecting your teeth and gums 
to restoring your smile to sponsoring your local team. Tar Heel Periodontics is the premier periodontal practice of the Triangle community. Our team of highly skilled doctors provide dental care as individual as you are, working with you to build a personalized treatment plan to create the beautiful, healthy smile of your dreams. With offices conveniently located across the Triangle and Central North Carolina, you're never far from the Tar Heel Periodontics family. Visit our website or call now. It's Ford Truck Month. America, you know what to do. Now's the time to get after the best deals on Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks, 45 years straight. Also, great offers on Ford Ranger and Ford Maverick. Ford Truck Month is here, so let's get after it. Place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Your life is more flexible and efficient than ever, and your energy is too. See how North Carolina's electric cooperatives are building a brighter future for the rural communities we serve at ncelectriccooperatives.com slash brighter. This film study is brought to you by Lenovo, smarter technology for all. Welcome back to another session of film study and today we are going to look at the great performance by true freshman MJ Morris, some on Twitter are starting to call him him J Morris because he was that guy when he took over against Virginia Tech, leading Wolfpack down 21 to three and went on an incredible run, an incredible third and fourth quarter to walk away with the victory. And I was so impressed with his ability to step in as a true freshman, not be overwhelmed by the situation and go out there and consistently make plays with his arm, make plays with his feet, but what really stood out was his ability to go through his reads and find the open guy. I've been the true freshman that gets out on the field and you feel like you don't know what you're looking at. Everyone's moving 100 miles per hour. And I've been the guy that's come off the bench as a backup and you haven't got a lot of work during the week. So it was such an impressive performance by MJ Morris. The future is bright. And I can't wait to see what he's able to do the rest of the season. Right here, you'll notice this was earlier in the game. They have an open post route. They're playing quarters coverage, which whenever you have quarters coverage, you want to alert this post. They have a post at the bottom of the screen and he misses it. He doesn't see it, he throws an incomplete pass. But the beauty of it is Tim Beck, Chris Proctor, they get on the sideline, they talk to MJ and say, hey, next time we get this look, alert the post. He sees right now, they got a chance to throw this post. This safety comes down on Thayer Thomas. And then he knows he's got one-on-one -on -one with his receiver in the corner for a big play. Here he goes, taking a shot, has the youngster, Terrell Timmons. It was freshman on freshman football. We talked about going through reads, going through progressions, not just picking a guy before the snap and saying, I'm gonna throw to him. He actually goes through his reads. They run the same concept three times during this game. He goes to a different receiver on a different route three different times, right here. We've seen it throughout the year. They run a hitch, a slot fade, and a stick route. So he's just gonna take this hitch throw. One step, ball's out, easy completion. Same concept. Again, we got a hitch route at the top, five yard stop route, a slot fade by Thayer Thomas, and the stick route, which is about a five yard out. Now he sees he has man coverage and the DB is kind of pressed on Thayer. So he knows this is a big alert to throw this slot fade to Thayer. He wastes no time. He gets his eyes on the safety to make sure he doesn't lead him over there. Balls out on time and hits him right in stride. This is the perfect throw. If this throw is a yard short, this Virginia Tech DB can make a play on it. But this was the play that turned the game around. Again, same concept, one more time. He just hit the hitch. He just hit this big play to Thayer Thomas. He might be saying, I wanna go back to him. But no, he sticks to his reads, he sticks to his progressions. And this time, he throws the easy stick route. Trent Penix gets upfield and it's another first down. Again, this isn't normal for a freshman to be going through his reads right th like this. This is what you expect out of, your, out of a veteran quarterback, a guy that's done it a lot. Right here, he's gonna find Thayer Thomas. Keep your eye on Thayer. Versus a too high safety look, 
this seam route, it turns into a bender. So he's gonna cross the safety's face. But look at the timing of MJ. He knows he's gonna have to get it on Thayer quick before this Mike linebacker can make a play on the ball. Fits it right in that window, stops him right in that hole so that Mike linebacker can't make a play on it. We talk about reads, we talk about going through progressions. Look at MJ's eyes right here. They start to the left, and this is gonna be a full field read. So he's gonna to start to the left and then work back to his right side. Look how quickly he gets to Devin Carter on this in cut. He goes, no, 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 yes. From behind, you'll see his eyes. Look how quickly he gets through his progression, knowing where his guys are gonna be. Excellent ball placement, excellent anticipation, and ability to process information and go through his reads. After the big post, this was a beautiful play design by Tim Beck. Right here, you'll see this is an overload formation. They got one, two, three, four receivers and a running back. So really, this is a five by zero. There's no tight end, there's no one over here. And look at the confusion this causes Virginia Tech. They got guys running all around. Now they motion the running back out. No one knows who they have. They have two guys going with the running back. This linebacker is not covering anybody. He's covering a tackle right now. And MJ has the awareness to see, hey, this is cover zero. I gotta get the ball out of my hands quick. And although he's wide open, it's great to see him give a little ground right here, knowing he's about to get hit and find Trent Penix open for the wide open touchdown. It was a tough situation for MJ Morris to step in that game down 21-3. One of the most memorable quarterback performances I can think of in recent NC State history, let alone for a true freshman. It was truly remarkable. I think it's one of those games that all of us will remember the comeback where we were. And I am excited to see what MJ can do leading this team throughout the rest of the season. Join us again next week as we break down more film from this year's season. One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Coca-Cola. Is Coca-Cola Zero Sugar the best Coke ever? Find out for yourself. I need to try it first. Yeah. From protecting your teeth and gums, to restoring your smile, to sponsoring your local team, Tar Heel Periodontics is the premier periodontal practice of the Triangle community. Our team of highly skilled doctors provide dental care as individual as you are, working with you to build a personalized treatment plan to create the beautiful, healthy smile of your dreams. With offices conveniently located across the Triangle and Central North Carolina, you're never far from the Tar Heel Periodontics family. Visit our website or call now. Mr. Wolf, you're all set. Complete perimeter protection installed, activated, and monitored 24 7. Rivalries happen, but no matter who you root for, we can all identify with the best in smart home security. CPI Security. Identify yourself. It's Ford Truck Month. America, you know what to do. Now's the time to get after the best deals on Ford F Series. America's best selling trucks, 45 years straight. Also, great offers on Ford Ranger and Ford Maverick. Ford Truck Month is here, so let's get after it. Place your order for a 2023 F-150 and lock in 2.9% APR for 60 months. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. I need to try it first. Yeah. This segment of One with Wolfpack is sponsored in part by Town Properties. You know, every team, regardless of the sport, wants their team to have family values, right? And that's good. Um, I think they're better served if they're seen than if they're talked about. 
you know, for me, I, I invite the coaches' wives and kids into that building, into practice, into the locker room. They travel with us if they want to for games, uh, bowl games, they're around, Sunday dinners, they're around. Coach Doran does a really good job of um, making it a family atmosphere. Um, we get around our coaches a lot in downtime and just sort of see them um, outside of the building. So I just think all those together sort of has made a really good family atmosphere. I want them to see their position coaches as husbands and as fathers too. And I think it's good for them being away from their families to, to see other families, to be around them. I think that helps. The big family aspect as far as just like people coming together, um, going through hardships together and stuff like that, stuff of that nature. And just like uh, having a brother by your side, always something you can depend on. You know, uh, coming here that really showed me how like your teammates could really be like your second family away from home because I came here from New York, you know, being down here from North Carolina and being eight hours away kind of gave me like a real, really big family like feeling. You know, NC State is just not once you're here and you're gone, you're done, like never again. You know, I feel like it's more of a family thing because even if I didn't play with you, if you played years ago, um, you see me and we meet, we're like, okay, we're alumni, we're both alumni. You know, it's, a, it's more of a family aspect, I would say. These are people that you were with for, you know, four to five years of your life, uh, every day, you know. The biggest break you might get is two weeks. Um, so you, you build bonds with those people, you get to, you know, struggle with those people, you get to have successes with those people, and I think, you know, when you come back and you get to see where everybody is, it's, it's, it's you know, it warms your heart in a sense. Well, it's, it's a lot of adversity, you know, you got to cross, you know, when you, in these four years at, at, in college, but I feel like adversity builds your character to be able to, you know, make make those leaps that, that turn you into a man, and that's what instead has done for me, like, it, it built my foundation for me to be able to power through adversity, be able to, you know, know that I'm going I'm, to I'm, I'm, I'm see, I'm see whatever the, the issue is through, and I'm going I'm, I'm to be able to be, you know, successful on the other side, and you know, and be able to pull people along, you know, at the same time. That's, that's what NC State's done for me. It definitely showcases the values that our staff has as opposed to just words, you know. I also think it's good for our coaches' mental health, you know, to have their wives around some and have them, we work a lot, you know, have our kids check in with us in person and maybe drop, you know, you go in a coach's office and you'll see his daughter drew something on his grease board and, I wrote him, love you, Dad, you know, things like that. I think that's important for a coach to have that connection. Here comes the pressure. Hartman is hit, he's sacked. Back at about the 17-yard line. Oh, baby, Isaiah Moore got in there again. He fires it long over the middle. It is caught around the 30-yard line of Wake Morris. Keon Lassane. He takes the snap. He looks. He fires right corner end zone. Caught by Daryl Jones. Touchdown, Wolfpack. He beat Gavin Holmes. They both went for the ball, and it looked like Daryl Jones just out-wrestled him for it. The Wolfpack racks up another home victory, 16 straight at Carter-Finley Stadium.